We're building something here. This is real. Sí, señor. We can lean into uh, the details and the complexities about being queer and that it's lovely television. You know, I mean, that's sort of what Vida does. Like, we don't, I don't claim to have, like, the queer show. It's just, you know, queerness is is part of the narrative of, of these yeah. two sisters, you know, because of their mom and because of um because of their mom and Eddie and then because of Emma. So like so then it just plays like an organic part of it. But I love that we uh the television's starting to do that, you know, and the characters are complicated in that way. I mean, I want more, more, more. I don't want to be like claiming, you know, and celebrating like like we're there, but like I it's so exciting when we when we get to be detailed and complicated and not have to worry about framing us in only a positive light or in, in a complicated light is, you know, is more interesting and it's more real. It's more who we are. I don't want to let Vida do any more damage. There's a reason your mommy did what she did. I'm so excited about, um, we have Drag Kings this season. Drag Kings. When was the last time you saw Drag Kings on TV? And we like talk about the binding and the packies and, you know, mm -hmm. like that, like actual Drag King culture, which never gets, you know, um, it never gets, you know, represented. So I'm, ex I'm excited to, that we have that platform and because we've developed that platform, you know, to talk about the, these um, details. So we also have a double queer cianera. It's not a quinceanera, it's a queer cianera. And uh, it's double, so someone's turning 30, you know, and it's, um, it's gender bendy and it's very us. And I can't, you know, it, but, it, but it's also, maybe it could only happen on Vida. I'm so excited about the song we're starting the season with because that's where I'm at, but but it matters. It's um, Chavela Vargas is a, a queer icon in Mexico and Latin America. She was Frida's girlfriend. Like they were lovers. Mm -hmm. And this song that we're using, Macorina, has never been a license before. And we're starting our season with it. And now maybe to the world, that's not that big a deal. But to some of us, that's a huge, you know, it's a huge moment that we're opening the season. And the two people we're opening the season with, you know, which, you know, if you watch the end of um, last season, you probably can guess who, which two. Um, and it, yeah, and it, that, those moments are exciting, but also that we get to like, we, uh, season two, we t touched on colorism a little bit, you know, like uh, there was, there was a conversation about light skin and dark skin, prietanes, you know, that notion. Now we're switching over to classism within the, um, I'm, I'm not even going to say Latinas community, Mexican and Mex versus Mexican American community. So I'm excited to like get it, it, what's so What's so fulfilling about the season is like we're getting deep, you know, and um, and it's because we were able to earn it season two, you know, that we get we get to, you know, we touch on colorism. Now we're like talking about um, uh, classism. Same thing with queerness, you know, like w the stuff just gets deeper. So. What's going on? We're being protested. Those two bandidas piss me off so much. Go back to Coachella. <laughs> Have you had? some really amazing fan reactions that have like really stuck with you. Like do you see things people respond to your Instagram or Twitter or whatever and say like first season were were the most uh, cuz now I it's not that I've come to expect them but I, I and you know I I'm a little bit more used to them but first season a lot of um brown queers that on Twitter or um Instagram cuz I'm more mm -hmm. active on Instagram um they they said they had never seen themselves represented um especially in Eddie there's not a lot of brown butches on TV also that are the heart of the show and that are, you know, um, fully fleshed out. So, like, that that was really uh, touching. And then we were the uh, Grand Marshals of, of San Francisco Pride. And that was, I've never, I've that, that was not just fun, obviously, to ride. Also, I wore the rainbow. I made a dress. It was a rainbow. And also... Like, the community was, I mean, San Francisco, you know? Mm -hmm. And then they, like, knew the show, and they, like, were just so supportive. The, and, and the little co micro-conversations, because people came to, like, you know, talk to us. It was, it, like, a lot of brown queers, not just Latinx, the two, you know? Um, Asian queers and, 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 and black, and, and just, it, it was, like, it, it meant something to them. And that, you know, it's, it's a ton of little conversations like that that, that have, you know, I've, I've kept as a memory. People have betrayed us our entire lives. I'm a, it's not as suspect as it looks. I was reading some stuff about Roberta um, Nico from the show, and she uh, about how she sort of didn't want to be cast 
because when she heard of the show, because she thought like, oh, it's just gonna be another show about queer people, and I'm gonna be like the queer person. You know what I mean? Um, she didn't just hear from a show. The, Roberta and I have been working together since 2011. She's been in my place, so mm-hmm. I called her about it, and that's the conversation I think she's talking about. And that's yeah. where she was like, she was she's like, so man, I don't, you know, I keep getting cast, you know, and I, I yeah, I read her to filth, <laughs> but in a loving way. She's, I adore her, and um, I was like. When do we see you, though? When do we see, you know, uh, however she wants to I- identify, but like, you know, a, a little bit more masculine of center, uh, Latin, you know, Latina lead um, that is a love interest. So I was a little bit like, trust me, girl, uh, you know me. And also like, what are you talking about? You, this is this is a great like privilege and also your responsibility. I went off, of, but also lovingly because I'm, you know, mm-hmm. like, I care about her career. I care about her as a friend. And um, I, I do understand that. But I think I was like, I was not going to let her not be Nico. Nico, she's perfect. She's so good. I just watch her this season. You're going to be so mad at her. Do you know who I am? <laughs>